think the game against uh, Ingolstadt wasn't bad. You guys had lots of shots um, and uh, you just didn't manage to, to get the puck in. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Um, I thought we did a pretty good job in our structure. Offensively, uh, he made some good saves, but I really felt uh, as a team uh, we had good ozone time. Uh, we got some good pressure to the net. Uh, we did a lot, an awful lot of good things. Probably the biggest thing for us in that game was, uh, I think, looking at it again, two things really stuck out. Number one, um, you know, this is like a little bit of a pool game sometimes. It's not what you make, it's what you leave. And we weren't making an awful lot, um, but we left ourselves open a few times defensively and they took full advantage of it. So we have to make sure that we learn from that. And secondly, I really felt like uh, the three power plays in the second period where we didn't get anything. We had three power plays in a row and we came up empty on those power plays. It was a big turning point in the game. Also eine Sache beim Spiel gegen Ingolstadt war eben dieses, äh, diese drei Powerplays in Folge, wo, wo nichts reingegangen ist, sondern haben die Jungs viel Zeit in der gegnerischen Zone verbracht, äh, haben da auch äh, gute Dinge gemacht, aber halt einfach die Scheibe nicht äh, versenken können gegen Ingolstadt. Das war das äh, große Problem äh, des Spiels. Ansonsten war er ganz zufrieden eigentlich mit dem Spiel, mit der Struktur des Spiels. Tonight's going to be um, Schwenningen. I think that two good reasons to, to beat Schwenningen because you lost the f uh, last home game and the, the game in Schwenningen you lost as well. So I think that's a good reason to to get a win tonight. Yeah, well, obviously you don't want to lose two in a row. Um, you know, we've got a we've got a saying in our room that uh, good teams don't lose two in a row. Or they try not to lose two in a row. So you know, we want to make sure that uh, we bounce back with a win. Obviously, after the loss the other game. Um, But I think the other thing too for us is that uh, we have to understand they're you know they're playing pretty loose right now. They're playing freely. Uh, uh, they play up tempo. Um, and I thought the last game they they did a good job with us in terms of their battle level, their compete level. So we know that they're going to come in here. They're going to be hungry. They're going to play hard, and we've got to be ready for that. Die Mannschaft muss äh, bereit sein. Es gibt äh, einen Spruch in der Kabine bei den Adler Mannheim. Ein gutes Team gewinnt nicht, äh, verliert nicht zwei Spiele hintereinander. Und nach diesem verlorenen Spiel gegen Ingolstadt muss jetzt ein Sieg her. Aber es wird schwer sein, weil es ist eine Mannschaft, die sehr, sehr hart arbeitet und ähm, gut kämpft. Und das hat sie in äh, Schwenningen eben auch getan, als die Adler verloren hatten. What's going to be important for tonight? Well, I think, first of all, we've got to make sure we learn from the last game. And uh, we can't open up defensively. We've got to make sure we're... Uh, We're completing the job there thoroughly uh, before we get to the offensive side. And I think once we get to the offensive side, we got to make sure we get uh, traffic to the net, really work for those second shot opportunities. Um, and be aware coming back through the neutral zone in our structure that uh, you know we're not allowing uh, fourth guys to get up in the rush and uh, we're not duplicating jobs on our back check. Also was ganz wichtig sein wird, dass man zunächst mal hinten nicht öffnet, sondern hinten strukturiert weiterspielt und wenn man äh, nach vorne kommt, dass man eben auch äh, seine Chancen ausnutzt und äh, äh, entsprechend dann auch äh, auf die Stärken der äh, Schwenninger schaut, dass die äh, nicht ihre Stärken ausspielen können. Ähm, das wird wichtig sein für heute Abend für das Spiel äh, gegen die Schwenninger. I wish you a very good game and hopefully it's going to be a win. Yeah, thanks very much, Andy.